How's everybody doing? Uh, excited to be here. Excited about the American Conference. We got uh, so much uh, positive that is going on right now within this conference and uh, excited about the, the realignment of the new teams coming in and it's going to be an exciting year. Um, obviously coming out of year one, uh, there was a lot of things that we needed to work on. I, I thought that we were competitive toward the back end of the season a year ago and you know these are things that uh, obviously we're trying to work on enhancing to try to be better this year and I'm excited. I thought we've had a phenomenal off season. Uh, there was a lot of transition of new football players onto this football team. We had some guys graduate um, and then we brought some guys in uh, by way of high school recruiting and uh, a little bit of portal recruiting and I feel as though we've gotten longer, we've gotten more athletic, uh, we've actually uh, answered uh, a, a lot of question marks that we had on our roster uh, by way of recruiting. Uh, like last year, um, we played with a lot of players that didn't have a whole lot of college experience in playing in games. Uh, when I first inherited this job, we had a bunch of uh, guys that jumped into the portal, so the guys that we played with were guys who uh, didn't play a whole lot of football, but um, it, it was fun watching them grow through the season. And uh, we're going to be a little young in that respect this year uh, with some of our best talent being some of our younger talent, but uh, that does not change the, the expectations and the standards of which we hold our program to. Uh, that being said, very excited to get this season going on, um, and I'll, I'm here to entertain any questions you may have about Temple football. Hey, Stan, Sean Pastor, Owls Daly. You know, curious with the, the way this league is now, there's seven new first-year head coaches. Um, you, in your second year, were one of the sort of grizzled veterans. I wonder how much of that one year to second year at edge, right, that gives you and the other guys who have at least had a year. There's a couple of two-year guys and the older coaches in the league. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm only year two uh, as a head football coach overall, <laughs> right? And we've got some guys that are coming into this conference that are new to the American but have been head football coaches in the past. And, you know, I respect the experience that all these coaches have had in their careers. And, you know, um, and I know they know ball and I know they know how to, you know, manage players and things of that sort. So I, I wouldn't necessarily say – um, that I have an edge in that respect. You know, um, I, I do know the American Conference. I do know that the American Conference is, uh, holds themselves to a high standard. And I think that that's a message that every one of these coaches got when they first joined this conference. So um, I don't necessarily see it an edge that way. Um, this is going to be a phenomenal conference. We got great coaches, great head football coaches that have been places, um, some that have won national championship other places, um, some guys who have, um, you know, developed programs like Tom Herman brought that Houston program up and did a phenomenal job. And I've had an opportunity to work with Tom Herman, won a national championship with Tom Herman at Ohio State. Um, I think we're all similar uh, that we know that the kids are the most important thing, regardless of what's going on in the landscape of college football. Uh, the thing that I'm most proud of in talking to these head football coaches, that they keep the players the priority. And with that being said, um, I think that's awesome. So. Coach Chris Gardner, what is the biggest question right now that you want answered from your players? Uh, that's a great question. Do you love each other? Period. You know, um, we're, we're in an age now where there's so much that is forever changing with the portal and NIL and, you know, there's so much transition that happens from year to year in, in all these programs now. And I am of the belief uh, in my experience of winning some national championships in, in the past and the way we've done it was the players took ownership. The players took ownership of the vision. They took ownership of the philosophy. Um, and they took ownership of each other. They held each other accountable. You know, when it's a player-led situation, uh, I think you give yourself an opportunity to win a lot of football games. And there has to be an element of love in, in the way I believe. Uh, they have to love each other. They have to trust each other. They have to be willing. They have to earn the right to be able to hold each other accountable. And, uh, and to me, that's going to be the number one thing for uh, Temple football, bringing in a bunch of new guys. I mean, 
there's 50 new players on this football team from a year ago. Do you love each other? Have you put the time and the effort to get to know each other? Do you respect each other? Uh, have you earned the right to hold each other accountable? When those things happen, uh, special things will happen on the football field. Yeah, it's gluing them together, right? You know, you get you get some of them that come. You have some new players that matriculate into the program in the winter, so they took play and they were able to participate in spring football, right? And then you have some guys that came in the summer, <laughs> right? You have some guys that had, you know they're just not getting there, right? So it's a matter of gluing them all together, right, and making sure that the system works to fit their skill set. Um, and to me, that's the biggest question mark that we have right now, you know. Um, you know, we go, you know, I'm just coming off of a month of being on vacation, right? And what happened in that month time? You know, those that was the time for the players to, to really build a bond with one another. And I hope that they did that. You know, uh, one thing I am excited about with Temple football is the guys that were in year one, they bought into the philosophy of what we were preaching, okay? And the thing that was awesome about that is when those new guys started matriculating into the program, you saw the older guys grab them by the, by the ear and say, hey, this is the way we're going to do things here at Temple, you know. So, uh, again, that player-led thought process is starting to come more and more. Just, again, we're asking kids uh, to lead each other, and that's something that is very, very hard for them to do in nowadays, right? I mean, they are so afraid to hold each other accountable. They much rather be friends than family. And you can't survive the Temple program if you're just a friend. You have to be a family member. And uh, so I'm excited that I'm starting to see more and more of that. But that's what it's going to take for us to win ball games. Thank you. Go Owls. Temple Owls. We got a lot of Owls in the